Welcome back. In this section, we will demonstrate the soldering technique. As you learnt in program 1, to achieve good results, the soldering iron must be up to operating temperature, and the bit must be clean and in good condition, and of a suitable shape and size for the application. A small amount of solder is then applied to the tip of the bit. This will speed up the heat transfer from the bit to the connection area. The bit is then positioned so that it simultaneously heats the component lead and solder pad. Next, the solder is applied simultaneously to the lead and solder pad opposite the bit. Remember, the solder must be melted by the heated surfaces and not the soldering iron. Once the solder begins to flow, no more solder should be applied. The solder will follow the heat path and form a smooth cone shape around the lead and solder pad. The join should not be moved or disturbed before it has set or solidified naturally. During this time, any excess solder or flux residue must be cleaned off the iron bit before making the next connection. The connection can now be completed by trimming off the excess component leads 2 to 3 millimeters above the soldered joins. Prolonged heating is not only damaging to sensitive components, but can also cause damage to the tracks and solder pads on the printed circuit board. Remember, the key to making successful connections is good preparation, accuracy, and speed. Practice the soldering technique just demonstrated at your own pace, concentrating on quality and accuracy at first, and then on improving the time it takes to make these connections.